All right, friends. Happy Monday. Hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to kind of go over some things for you with writing before you started. Um, go ahead and remember to get that packet out that we've been working on. The packet that looks like, let me find it real quickly. Looks like this. Remember, if we open it up, we've got our introductory paragraph with our three reasons. We talked about putting that first, next, and blank there. Remember that we wrote that. Then we go down and we have our first reason here with kind of our evidence and explanation there. Our next paragraph is our second reason with explanation. And our third, next paragraph is our third reason with explanation. So let's go over kind of what it looks like. Like I said, there you'll have it's how many paragraphs? Six paragraphs. The first paragraph all the way up here is going to, again, be that introductory statement with our three reasons. Then we've got reason one, evidence, two, evidence, three, evidence. Then we had that counter argument that we put on an index card, which hopefully, hopefully you can find. If not, you're just going to want to recreate it. Remember that counter argument is that argument somebody might give you against what it is you, you're trying to argue for. So if it was a cell phone you wanted, your the argument against it might be that it's too expensive and you would counter by saying, you know, I understand that the the phone is very expensive, but I've been saving my money and I can contribute some toward the cost too. So you're kind of trying to head them off with whatever it is they're going to argue back to you. And then your last paragraph is the conclusion where you restate your thesis and then list your three reasons again and then just give that concluding sentence. So when I see your paper, when we look at your paper, and I'm not sure if you'll get done today and tomorrow or whether you're going to need more time on Monday when we get back after Thanksgiving, but you're going to have six paragraphs. So make sure that you have six paragraphs. Remember also what we talked about in terms of... Whoop, The font we use, remember the light bulb to help left justify if you need to, that symbol for indenting, we're using one and a half line spacing. After a comma, not before a comma, but after a comma, you hit the space bar. And after a period, terminal punctuation, question mark or exclamation point, two spaces, okay? So try to remember that. And remember, no space before the punctuation. That's it. Um, if you have questions, you can try to message me. Um, and I'll try to get back with you as quick as I can. So, miss you guys. Hope everything's going well. Bye.